Hello everyone. If you're looking for a small project to work on over the weekend, don't miss this video. In today's video, I will introduce you to an FM music transmitter circuit with a power output of around 5 milliwatts. You can use it like a spy bug or to broadcast music over the FM band. This circuit can transmit up to about 50 meters under ideal conditions. It's perfect for beginners who are learning about electronics. This FM transmitter circuit has very few components, and I've also modified the original version, removing unnecessary parts to make the assembly process easier. You can download the project from the description of this video. Additionally, I'm sharing your Gerber file, so you can place an order at JLCPCB. Ordering PCBs from JLCPCB is very easy. You just need to visit jlcpcb.com and create an account. Then click on Order Now and upload the Gerber file. This process is very quick. You can then use the integrated Gerber viewer to carefully check your design, which is my favorite feature of JLCPCB. If you're satisfied with the design, save it to your cart and proceed to checkout. You can pay using a credit card, GPay, or PayPal. The cost of the PCB and shipping fees are very affordable. This is the soldering path of the chip. How would you route it? If the number of pins is low, you can route traces directly outwards. However, when there are many solder pads on the chip, it becomes difficult to do the fan out. So we drill vias to transfer the traces to other layers. Note that we first extend a trace from the pad before drilling the via. While routing becomes much simpler, you still need to route at least one trace from pad to via, so there can still be issues with pads being too dense or too numerous to route effectively. If we directly place the via directly on the pad, there's no need for additional trace before via, but this can lead to solder wicking away through the hole during soldering, causing defects or cold solder joints. Via in pad technology addresses these issues. We still place the via on the pad, but then fill it with resin and plate it with copper. The surface shows almost no trace of this, and soldering is as reliable as with a regular pad, saving on routing, optimizing board size, and also enhancing thermal conduction. If you're looking to optimize your routing and save time, you can take advantage of free via in pad service. Try it now and save time. After placing your order, you will receive your PCB in about a week. If you want to receive your PCB faster, you can choose shipping via DHL. They deliver very quickly, but the cost is, is significantly higher. Here are the necessary components to assemble this circuit. This FM transmitter circuit uses two C90118 transistors, which are very common and easy to find in old devices. One transistor amplifies the microphone signal, while the other jother generates high frequency. Even if you don't use a microphone, one transistor is sufficient. Additionally, we will need a few resistors, capacitors, and an adjustable inductor. All the components have clearly marked values. A beginner in electronics can easily assemble this circuit, so don't worry. Even if you don't have components that match the design, it will still work well. Just adjust the value of the inductor and the circuit will function as intended.
This is the completed product. It can select input from a microphone or an MP3 player via a 3.5 millimeter jack. With the microphone, you can turn it into a spy bug, and with the MP3 input, you can turn it into a wireless music transmitter. This circuit operates with a voltage range of 3 volts to 9 volts. You can use two ALA batteries, a 3.7 volts rechargeable battery, or a 9 volts battery. It works well with all of them. With two ALA batteries, it can run for a whole week. To adjust this circuit, turn on your FM radio and set the frequency to around 95 megahertz. Then, adjust the trimmer inductor until you notice that your radio suddenly becomes silent. After that, you can blow into the microphone to test it. Hold on, hold on. Now you can connect it to your phone. If the sound is not clear, continue to adjust the trimmer inductor. This circuit has an operational range of about 50 meters under ideal conditions. I tested it at a distance of about 15 meters and it still worked quite well. You can also try it with a few older phone models that have a built-in FM radio. Turn on the transmitter circuit and use the scanning function. You will receive the signal from the transmitter 